In this video, I'm gonna give you 10 tips to help you maximize the battery life of your Samsung Galaxy A35 5G. Let's go. Welcome back to the video. My name is Sergio, and in this channel, I make life-saving tech videos. So if you're new here, go ahead and subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. And I got a bunch of cool links down below in the description. All right, so let's jump right in. So I'm gonna be giving you 10 tips to help you maximize the battery capacity and lifespan of your Samsung Galaxy A35 5G. So let's get started with number one. Tip number one is for when you first get your phone brand new, you wanna make sure that you charge it all the way up to 100% on its first charge. So this helps by expanding the battery to its maximum capacity. All right, so tip number two is to enable dark mode. So when you're setting up your phone, you could do that or you can also just go to settings. Here in settings, you'll scroll down to display, and then up here, you're gonna see light mode and dark mode. If you use light mode, this high brightness all the time does drain your battery faster, so in the long run, it will be worse for your battery. So uh, go ahead and select dark mode, and this will help you l use less battery on a day-to-day -day basis and ultimately maximize the lifespan of your Galaxy's battery. So tip number three is your screen brightness. So scroll down up here, and here you will see your screen brightness. Okay, but what you wanna do is you wanna select the three dots up here, and you wanna enable adapt brightness so just in case if you have your brightness all the way up that way you don't have to manually go in there and set it to the correct level you just select adaptive brightness and it will automatically adjust to the exterior brightness and like I said the brightness of your screen goes hand in hand with your battery usage so number four is so that you can put rarely used apps to sleep. So apps that you're not using that you don't really use that much in the background, you wanna limit their background usage because background usage on apps uses the memory of your phone and drains your battery even faster. So you wanna to go to settings, scroll down to battery, and here in battery, you're gonna see this option, which is background usage limits, select it, and you wanna enable put unused apps to sleep. So this will do just that. It will make sure that apps that you're not using are not running in the background. Okay, next thing you wanna do is also here in battery is you wanna enable power saving. So let's go into power saving here. When you enable power saving, they, these are the things that it's gonna do to help your battery. It's gonna turn off always on display. It's also gonna limit your CPU speed, your processor speed to 70%. So your phone will be a little bit slower. Uh, if you don't like that, you can just uh, disable this one. But if you wanna get the most out of your battery, uh, you wanna try it out uh, and see if it makes a difference. You can enable it and try it out. And you might not even notice that your processor is slower. And decrease the brightness of the screen by another 10%. Okay, and then another thing you can enable is limit apps and home screen. Okay, so now you have power saving enabled to its maximum. You wanna go ahead and enable it up here since it is off, now it is on. So now you have power saving enabled. Uh, and this will also drastically increase the battery life of your Galaxy 835. Okay, another thing you may wanna do is you can enable protect battery. Okay, so let's scroll down to battery here. And it's this option right here, battery protection. So let's select it. And then here for the maximum battery protection, you're gonna wanna select this option down here, which is maximum. And what this will do is it will stop charging when your battery reaches 80% charge. And this is gonna also increase the battery life of your phone. All right, so another tip that you wanna keep in mind. So for tip number seven is a storage tip. So let's say that you're not gonna be using your phone for a few days or maybe a few weeks. What you wanna do is you wanna power it off while you're not gonna be using it, but you wanna power it off with it having at least 50 to 70% uh, battery life. That is the best um, battery life to power your phone off for multiple days to conserve the battery. If you just dr if you just let your phone die at 0% and leave it turned off for a few weeks or months at a time, that can drastically damage your battery. So moving on, tip number eight is that you wanna make sure that you don't keep your phone in extreme temperatures. So you wanna use your phone in temperatures between 32 to 95 degrees Fahrenheit. That's zero to 35 in Celsius. And you wanna do this also to prevent automatic shutdowns, okay? When your phone is in extreme temperatures, especially in the heat, it will automatically shut off to protect itself and protect the battery. Um, but these, 
these extreme temperatures and overheating over time does damage the battery on your device. And freezing temperatures uh, damages the battery as well. Try to keep your phone in normal temperatures and prevent shutdowns. All right, so tip number nine is, uh, is a basic tip, but a tip that sometimes we forget and we overlook. So tip number nine is to, when you're charging your phone, when you plug it in and it reaches 100%, unplug it. Because if you leave it plugged in at 100%, that's gonna also over time damage your battery. And this is what causes swelling over time of the battery. Because the battery is charged to its max and you just continuously leave it there plugged in and this causes uh, swollen batteries over time. And then for the last tip, tip number 10 is you wanna make sure that when you're not using Bluetooth, just go ahead and turn it off. Okay, just scroll down here. Uh, here you have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. Also for Wi-Fi, if uh, you know, you're not gonna be at home or work connected to your normal Wi-Fi network, just go ahead and disconnect Wi-Fi and Bluetooth because where and when you're out and about, the phone is gonna, gonna be automatically uh, receiving signals and searching for different networks to try to connect to. Uh, so you wanna make sure you turn both of these off. And this will also help maximize the battery life of your Galaxy A35 uh, because it's gonna be processing less things in the background. All right, everyone, so those are 10 tips to help you maximize the battery life of your Samsung Galaxy A35 5G. Go ahead and hit that like button if this video helped you out. Comment down below and let me know. And that's all for this video. I'll catch you guys in the next one. As always, peace.